Hi, I'm Ansel Cromaholm. Dan O'Halloran. I'm Shannon Aldridge. I'm Jerry McGillicuddy, and I'm a social media junkie. And we're talking today about social media and how to get started. What about Facebook. It's real Town. Twitter. And LinkedIn. Tact of Rain. MySpace. Agent Genius. Google. Blogs. And social media in general. Why did I get started in social media? I needed to Google myself and find out what was out there. And what I discovered was I was a stunt person on MacGyver. So I started looking for ways to increase my content on the web so that I wouldn't be a stunt person on MacGyver, that it would be just me when you Googled Shannon Aldrich. And one morning, Monica wakes me up and says, you're going to go put a picture of, so of me up on my blog. So I said, okay, let's, let's take a look at this. And I started a blog in October of 2007. My first post was January 2008. Um, and that was my first attempt at getting into the whole so social media atmosphere. It was weird. It was very weird and I wasn't sure about it at all. To sign up, it was just as easy as you put in pretty much your name and your email address. If you can email and take a picture and know how to upload pictures, piece of cake. It's very easy. It doesn't cost anything, it's just time. It takes me about 15-20 minutes a day to keep up with my daily habits on Facebook and that, that's actually throughout the day, a couple, you know, a couple minutes here and there. You don't necessarily have to say, I'm doing Facebook and it's going to generate 20 sales for me because this is, this is the new thing. It's not that. It's, it's building your local network and communicating with people that you know and like. You just start looking for friends and, you know, and surf around a little bit. Meeting old family from all over the country. That's how I found an old classmate of mine back in when I was in the 6th and 7th grade. I meet other Shannon Aldriches. It's not this, you know, instant gratification thing, but it's just communicating and talking with more people than you might do on an average day. It's all about relationships and talking to people in social media and getting that conversation going. You don't have to use it for business, but in our business of real estate, it's all about our connections and the people we know. Once they know who you are, they know what you do, and they know that they can trust you. It's all about becoming that resource and focus point for consumers and connecting to them. The one thing I try never to do is any type of hard sell. We don't try to pitch real estate. What we try to do is just engage the consumer and just talk to them like we're at a social gathering. It's just having a conversation and being a resource. And the more people you know, and the, the larger you grow that network of yours and they see you as an expert and a knowledgeable person in that area, the better success you'll have. It's interesting. I can attest to going to a property when Monica and I are doing a showing, the consumer gets out of the car and they hug her because they've been reading her and they feel like they know her. What is real estate? They're not doing business with a company. They're doing business with you. That's the person they want to talk to. The nice thing about it is they've found you online, they've been reading you, they like you, and then they trust you. And that's, I think, the most important thing. If they like you and, and you don't shove real estate down their throat, you should have a pretty, pretty satisfying experience. It's a long-term process of building relationships that will trickle into sales. Out of the last eight months, I've had six successful sales from Facebook attributed just to that. I've gotten leads from social media. I've gotten referrals from other agents. I really enjoy it. it was this year when I tracked it, it was a little over 30% of my sales came from all my online efforts. So people come to me and they say, well, how do you get started in social media? And I really just have one piece of advice. Push the button. You're not going to break it. Just jump in. Push the button and see what happens. And just start searching out people that you know. And I think by doing that, that way you're conversing back and forth with the people you know, so that's a little bit more relaxing, and then branch out uh, to other people that you might not know. Push the button. Just jump in. If you are who you are and, and online and you show it that way, then there will be, there will be an aspect of trust that, that people will gain just through that. You have to be yourself. The only expense is time. Just jump in. It's like anything. The more time you put in, the more benefit you'll get. Push the button. And they've been reading this online, and they feel like they really know us.